Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do a special cook. Um, you guys, if you follow along with me on Facebook, or if you watch any of my other videos, um, you'll know that I'm a big follower of AmazingRibs.com. I love Meathead, who runs the uh, website. You get a lot of information on there, a lot of scientific uh, testing that they do. They're big on sous vide and barbecue also. They're one of the first ones that actually, in the barbecue community, that actually, uh, you know, uh, accepted it with open arms. Um, they work with Chef Steps, you know, the jewel that make the jewel. Um, they work with them on some videos and stuff. But what I'm going to do today is kind of put them to the test. They have a lot of different rib recipes on their website, and one of them is actually sous vide ribs, sous vide Q ribs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of their recipes. They're one for sous vide Q ribs, and one that's called maple glazed ribs. I don't know if I'm going to do the maple glaze, but I'm going to use the process that they use uh, for the St. Louis ribs. So strictly on the smoker and then wrapping and all that. And then we're going to taste test them at the end and see which one's better. So the uh, sous vide ribs, I, I've got a couple St. Louis um, racks that I bought a couple weeks ago on a meat sale. And I actually when I bought them, I pre-seasoned them both with the uh, Running Wild Peach Rub. And then I vacuum sealed them. So they're both uh, going to be the same as far as that goes. So what I'm going to have to do today is, is the sous vide ribs. They need 24 hours to cook. So I'm going to put those in the water today. And then tomorrow we'll finish those off. And then we'll throw the, uh, the ones we're going to just put on the smoker in tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do sous vide Q ribs versus regular St. Louis style uh, smoker ribs. Both the recipes are from Amazing Ribs. And then we're going to put them up against each yeah, other. Yeah, we're not going to uh, season them any different because I want them. I want them to be strictly seasoned the same, just a different cook, cooking methods. Uh, check we're to see season which one's better. I think I'm going to use the Running Wild's pork candy, the maple bourbon kind. So uh, they're both going to be seasoned the same way. It's just going to be a different cooking method. So. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw these this rack in for 24 hours at 150 in the sous vide bath. I got my waters already up and ready to go, so all I have to do is turn it back on, and it'll be cooking for 24 hours. So... Ribs in the sous vide are just about done, and I'm getting ready to throw these on. Um, smoke only ribs. We're gonna. This is gonna be the maple, uh, maple uh, St. Louis ribs from the Amazing Ribs. So I'm getting ready to start the smoker up. These are gonna go on for three hours uh, without wrap or anything. And yeah, I'm gonna add one more step uh, that's not in the Amazing Ribs recipe for the sous vide ribs, but really I'm only gonna do it because I found out it's better. I'm gonna go ahead and. The sous vide ribs, I took them out of the uh, vacuum pack, and I'm just going to toss them in the refrigerator uh, just to, to let cool these cool down because I found that uh, cold meat cracks smoke better, cold wet meat. So uh, when these are done with their first three hours, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the refrigerator. So the fire is almost yeah. up to temp, and I pulled the uh, ribs were going to just smoke, are going to be uh, pulled out, and um, remember I've both the racks were seasoned with the Running Wild Cherry Rub before I uh, froze them. So this st still has a little bit of that on it. But I'm going to season them both with this uh, Running Wild Pork Candy Maple Bourbon, which they have two different, uh, two different flavors of uh, pork candy. One is Sweet Hickory, and this one is the Maple Bourbon kind. So and we're going to season both of those, both of these racks with the same stuff. So we're just going to put a nice liberal coat on the, each side. I'm not going to wait to put the uh, seasoning on the uh, other one, the sous vide one, until we get it out of the fridge and getting ready to put it on the smoker. So these are going to go on the smoker for about three hours by themselves. And then we're going to wrap them. Alright, 
Oh, we're back. And it's time to wrap the um, smoked only smoker ribs from Amazing Ribs. And um, they're looking pretty good. They got good color to them. And the recipe that um, I'm going by, the maple glazed uh, ribs, calls for uh, a little bit of apple juice in the uh, wrap and a little bit more of the seasoning. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. Just going to give it a little bit more rub here. Not a whole lot. And then I've got a little bit of apple juice. Just going to kind of drizzle it on and let it uh, coat the ribs there. And this is just really to add moisture when it's cooking in the wrap. And since the recipe only calls for the wrap to be 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and throw the sous vide ribs on. And I did you know, add a little bit more of the rub to it. And I did, I went ahead and I basted these with a little bit of the apple, with the apple juice as well, just so we still have the same taste profile. So this is good apple juice. The uh, wrapped ribs have been in for a little over a half hour. I'm going to go ahead and take them out for the recipe. I'm going to unwrap them and I'm going to put them back on the rib rack. And then we're going to leave them on for another 30 minutes or so. And they should be done. them all glazed up with this uh, King's Hawaiian barbecue sauce and uh, I gave it a little taste of the sauce it actually is kind of sweet it's kind of good kind of kind of like their <laughs> their Hawaiian rolls uh, if you like their Hawaiian bread and rolls yeah it tastes pretty good so here we go guys got two racks and okay, this is the uh, the standard traditional smoked amazing ribs recipe here and then this is the sous vide Q Amazing Ribs recipe here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut kind of an end piece off of here. We've got a little flyer bone to kind of taste. And I'm going to cut the seam just a piece off of the end here. Kind of show you. Okay, this is the sous vide one. And these are... Remember, they're St. Louis ribs, so they're not that fatty or like a... Okay, there you go. Ooh, they're still hot. Just took them off. So this has got a little bit more of a smoke ring, you can tell. This one's not much of a smoke ring on this one. This has got a good smoke ring, which it should because it's been on the smoker most of the time. But give it a little taste. Okay, well, that one, it goes right through. I mean... Very tender, which I would expect being sous vide. Um, very juicy still. This one. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. It's not quite as tender, but it is still tender. And they're both really smoky. Uh, I don't really see, taste a difference in the smoke profile at all. Mm. This one is pretty good. Like I said this one you can tell is just a little bit more tender because it is a sous vide one. This one is a little bit more chewy, but it's still pretty tender. I mean, they're both really good. I would say neither one of these wins. But they're both pretty good. I think they turned out both excellent. So. Um, I would just suggest you try try one of them, try both of them. But they both came out pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and chop these up, and we're going to have dinner with them. But thanks again, guys, for joining. Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe, give me some comments, tell me if you like these type of videos where I do comparison cooks. Um, I I personally like to do these type of things where I can see which one comes out better, or if they come out good, either one, because I like to mix it up a lot. 
follow us on our Facebook group. Uh, we do a lot of uh, a lot of different interactions on the Facebook group, the Facebook page as well. Keep up to date on that, all the different things we're going to be doing, and follow us on Instagram. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for following. Mm -hmm.